always wanted to be an actor. I always wanted to be an actor. Watching television shows when I was a kid, watching the kids on the kids shows um, do their lines and things like that. Uh, it was um, it was just something that I had to 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 want to learn. You know what I mean? I'm like these little kids on television and they're doing this, which I love. I want to do that. You know, I want to do that. The kids that I'm looking up to. So. Um, I was really scared, honestly. I was really scared at that young age because I thought, not knowing the business, I thought these kids are very intelligent. Like, how can they learn all these lines all at the same time, you know, for the entire show? Like, so I, I pushed off for a long time. I like, I ran away from it for a minute. But then as I grew up, I knew that I was a guy who took on challenges. So I was like, that was one challenge that I know that I had to defeat. So I was like, I, I always want, wanted to do this acting thing. And, you know, I have to find out what it is that's um, stopping me from pursuing it. So what I did was research the industry and I found out, oh, they don't have to learn all those lines all at one time. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, there is a, a, a format to, to learning uh, the lines and a time frame to get these things in order. You know, I had to learn everything about the business. So I said, you know what? Okay, now I'm ready. So I found out um, in my city where I'm from, Baltimore, um, we don't get a lot of entertainment there, a lot of film and television, but for what does come, I was able to, um, I heard about Meteor Man, which was a Robert Townsend's project um, back in, I'm not even gonna date myself, but he did a movie called Meteor Man, I heard on the radio. So I was like, I want to get in there, I'm going to get involved. I want to be an extra in this, you know, this production. So they left like a phone number, what have you. And I found out what I needed, which was a headshot at the time. And it wasn't even an actual headshot. They just needed a Polaroid. I'm still dating myself. So, you know what I mean? I submitted the picture and I think a couple of days later, they called me in to be an extra on the movie. And I was like, yeah, I was really excited, man. So. Um, that's, that's basically what it was, man. To make a long story short, I've been loving acting ever since I was a kid. You should know that if you want to get in this business, it's a, it can be a cruel business. Um, people don't generally care for you. Um, you have to have really tough skin. You can't come into this game being um, soft-spoken or emotional and wearing your heart on your sleeves because you'll get ate up. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Once you get inside this atmosphere, it's, it's crazy. So if, 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 if that's like a dog finding meat, he's gonna get it. You look like meat to all these vultures because they see you know, how fragile you are. Nose, we, we receive no's every day in this business. If you can't take a no from an audition and you get uh, upset and hysterical about you know, all these no's coming, you don't belong here because you'll get a million no's before you get that one yes. You have to learn how to brush off certain things and move forward and just stay focused. I can't really say what you should do. Um, there is no one way to succeed in this business. Um, I think it depends on the individual, you know? Like um, a lot of people don't like to take orders. So if you don't like to take orders, then being independent sometimes would be the best thing for you. But if you could, you know, follow directions and understand that everybody has a boss at some point in their life, everybody is an employee somewhere. Even if you are the boss of a, the owner of a chain of whatever it is, it's still somebody above, which is, the um, customer, believe it or not. That's the way I look at it, because we buy a product to sell to the customer. And if the customer doesn't buy, then the company crumbles. So who do you really work for? You understand what I'm saying? So that's, that's what I believe. So if, if, if um, you wanna do, and there's nothing wrong with doing independent things because independent films that go mostly straight to DVD or Netflix or what have you like that, you can make a lot of money from that. 
and it's not a whole lot of waiting. You don't have to go through a bunch of auditioning. These are independent things that you yourself create. You know, you can put yourself in your own films, you know, things like that, and you can build your brand. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.